Hi everyone, my name is John from the Center for Urban Ecology, uh, and today I wanted to introduce you to iNaturalist. This is one of my favorite apps. It is a free nature app that helps you identify the life around you, whether it's a bird that's come into your backyard, a butterfly that's hanging out on a lo in the local garden, or an insect that might be attracted to your porch light at night. Um, so today we're going to briefly show you how to add an observation using the app um, here at Quinta Mazatlan World Birding Center. We're at one of our native plant gardens here at Quinta Mazatlan and even though it's a gray cool morning, I'm a little chilly in short sleeves, uh, there's still a surprising amount of insect life to be found if we pay close attention to the flowers and underneath the leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little search and we're going to try to find some life to identify using iNaturalist. After a few seconds of searching, I managed to find this fuzzy caterpillar. This is probably some kind of moth. So you are our model, buddy. Hang in there. I've got the iNaturalist app open now on my Android system phone. And to add an observation, I'm going to hit that green plus sign in the lower right. And I'm going to take a photo. So I'm going to get nice and close to our caterpillar friend here. Bring it into focus, and boom. Okay, that seems like a pretty good photo, so we're going to go with it. But if we didn't like the photo, we could hit retry and take another one. As iNaturalist is preparing the photo, you'll notice that it's automatically getting our current location. It automatically has the current date and the current time. And the only thing that's missing now is the what did you see in the top section. So we're going to go ahead and view suggestions. And what iNaturalist is going to do is run our photo through an algorithm that gives us an idea of what kind of organism we're looking at. So iNaturalist is saying that it's pretty sure it's in this genus, the Parakates genus. We can view the top 10 suggestions if we'd like, scroll through those. If we want to compare them to other photos of that species, we can hit the double arrow mark. So I'm going to compare it to this yellow Parakates moth. Well, that seems like a pretty good match. So we're going to go ahead and select the yellow parakeetes moth by hitting the check mark. And then we're going to hit the check mark in the upper right. And iNaturalist is going to upload it. Now the cool thing is, is that when we come back and look at our observations, um, after whether it's a few minutes, a few hours, a few days, uh, you will notice that there will be these pink activity icons on the right hand side. You can see an example of that on the southern house spider. And what that means is that an, an, another iNaturalist user has come in and added an identification to that organism. Thank you for joining me for this quick introduction to how to add an observation using iNaturalist. I hope you'll use the app to explore nature around you, um, even if it's in your yard or your neighborhood. You'd be surprised by how much life there is in our urban areas. Stay safe, stay well, um, and keep exploring nature.